I don't know why people thought the future would be so dark. The sewer people glow all the time. This is Octo Magic. Hello everyone, my name is Blair. Oh uh, fuck, I couldn't think of a good hot taker name. Um, Cause you, you don't have any good hot takes. It's, it's Plutarch, hot taker, 6969420, aka Gwen. Let's play some Phoenix Wright. Yeah, let's, let's progress. No. Um, so yeah. We didn't we didn't do a good job. That's right. What he said, see? That's his whole testimony. Okay. There has to be a contradiction in there somewhere. Let's find it. Like, like I'm enjoying this section because it's like actual gameplay. Mm -hmm. Um I think we need to press more on like more of his Um Well let's go through the options here. Right? Uh, securing the something is everything. Because that seems pretty good, right? Because I think he just arrested her right away. No, he, oh, no, he, 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 he looked first and then arrested her, yeah. right? Ah, uh, so this didn't work out. Yeah. I guess we could, we could, no, we could no, press. No, no. Let's not do that. Okay. You can't fail at pressing. Oh, you can't? No. Oh, okay, okay. Just because you found it next to the body doesn't mean the victim wrote it. Well, that's what I was trying to say previously. <laughs> yeah, but, like, she, they found blood on her finger. Remember? Yeah, but like just because there's blood on a finger doesn't mean she definitely wrote it though, right? Like maybe, maybe someone like literally used her hand to write something. Oh, so this is this is too much. Ho ho! And then who did write it, Smarty Pants? Wh who? Um, the killer. The killer. <laughs> I did. Yeah, the killer. So the killer. Anyone can see that. Oh, Ooh, we got a ding. You're saying the killer wrote her own oh name? Oh my fucking god. Buddy, Gunner. please. I hate him so much. <laughs> she was framed, you dumbass. Objection. Hold on. If that's the case, where's your evidence? <laughs> evidence? <laughs> <laughs> Let Edward talk more. Ha! I guess that was a bit of a tall order for you. Those without evidence shouldn't open their mouths, Mr. Wright. Ugh, not unless something's going inside. God. <laughs> yeah, pal. Ugh. Well, detective, tell us what was written on that memo that you found. That we know. Uh, Mayo was written clearly in blood. I mean, that's true. That's true. Okay, it is really true. So that the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. I guess, no, did we press this? Keep going, keep going. That's it. We have more options. Oh, ri ri before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. That's the whole testimony. So we press on that. Do we have any evidence? Can we see our? Can we see our? Uh, what we have? Um, tab is going to pull it up. Tab. Um, blood falls trauma. Death is instantaneous. <gasps> death is instantaneous. She couldn't have written the name. Oh, yeah. So yeah. So let's let's present that on this. Actually. Yeah, that's kind of detective gumshoe. There's one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You said that the victim, Maya Faye, Mia Faye, Mia Faye <laughs> wrote this note <laughs> that she was accusing the defendant, Maya Faye. God, <laughs> Mayo Faye, <laughs> Mayo, Mayonnaise Faye. That's really what you're saying. W what? This isn't one of those lawyer tricks, now, is it? See, of course she wrote it. Who else could have? You have it backwards, detective. That's a smirk. Well, backwards? The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. Got him. This is a report from your department, detective. So, like, in a real courtroom, right, mm -hmm. this would, like, immediately get her off, right? The trial would just be done. Why? Because if like, they, they couldn't prove that there's any evidence accusing, like, my, Maya. I mean, she was, like, there. Yeah, but, like... If anything, it, like, disproves it. Because if there's no way she could have written her name, right? It's not like Maya was going to write her own name there, yeah. right? And so the case would just be over. Yeah, immediately. Uh, uh, she died immediately. Uh, but no budding your way out of this one, detective. Gavel. Gavel. Order! Order! <laughs> The defense has a point. 
Someone who died immediately wouldn't have had the time to write anything down. Payne is having a way better time in this role than he was as a prosecutor. <laughs> Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? When? Uh, when oh, oh, fuck. Shit, when did we get this autopsy report? The day after the, the day after the murder, right? Cause he he gave it to it. We asked we asked him. Oh yeah, it. you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. It was the day after the murder. And the prosecution's point being <laughs> oh, the finger waggle. That autopsy report is outdated, Your Honor. Ooh. What? A second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. There's uh -huh. no fucking way. Uh -huh. No fucking way. Uh -huh. <laughs> Death was almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object. But there is a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I received these results this morning. No way! Your Honor, it's quite easy to imagine the victim did have time to write Maya. Oh, well, that is all. I see. At least we progressed in the case. Damn you, Edgeworth. I should have known you'd have something up your sleeve. Yeah, he didn't say. I think Edgeworth. That she died of blood loss in his opening statement. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about Edgeworth? Um, I think Edgeworth should win just because he's a better dresser than Phoenix, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, come on. Why, Mr. Wright? You look shocked. Something you want to say? I'm, <laughs> I'm a sham. sham. Uh, the detective's a sham. Really? Yeah, because he keeps fucking up. Detective Gumshoe, you're a sham. How can you give me a faulty report? No, that's, that's the wrong thing. Huh? To... I, I thought... Detective Gumshoe? I'm disappointed in you, handing him the wrong report like that. He gave you the one at the uh, time. I'm sorry, sir. See? You are at fault, detective. This isn't going to look good in your evaluation next month. Ooh. Oof. Edgeworth's a fucking narc. Yeah. No wonder he went what? into law. But... <laughs> your Honor, I submit this report to the court. Uh, understood. The court accepts the evidence. No times your report updated in the court record. Well, Your Honor, the evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. It doesn't. I suppose the that's the obvious conclusion. Yes. Darn, this isn't good. Yeah, you're bad at this, Phoenix. The prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor innocent girl. Saw the murder with her own eyes. Yeah, this is gonna be it's gonna be way easier to poke holes in this. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm also really excited to voice this one. Yeah. Oh God. I'm Gavel. Gonna, I don't have to do fucking. <laughs> I don't have to do Gumworth anymore. <laughs> Gumshoe. Gumworth. <laughs> Let the witness, Miss April, take the Am stand. I right? Exactly. What part of her is innocent? Ugh, okay, Phoenix. Uh, don't, Phoenix. Don't equate. Oh, she's still doing like the. <laughs> yeah. Don't equate sexuality with a lack of innocence. Witness, Jesus. your name, please. You're, like, being needlessly obtuse. They mean innocent in, like, the, the like, legal sense. Not innocent in the colloquial sense. April May, at your service. Oh, God. Did, did you see her boobs wiggle? Yeah. Did you see that? That's what happened. I can't believe they animated that. Right? Whenever whenever you blink, whenever, whenever I wink at someone... I like jostle my like massive tits. Yeah. These two badongadongs. <laughs> these D class fucking. <laughs> these the this disaster area of a chest. These massive balloons. Um, Stop. It, it's funny because my tits are very very average. Uh, <laughs> oh look at she's doing like a whole pose. Oh yeah. Gavel gavel gavel. Oh, I'm sorry. I need to do gavel. But you're just not fast enough. I'm sorry. Your game reaction times aren't up to snuff. <laughs> Order! An introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd. No matter how much her boobs wiggle. The witness will be refrain from wanton winking. That's that's pretty good alliteration, Judge. Aww. No, that's me. Look how cute she looks. Aww. 
Yes, you're on. Uh, I wasn't saying. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I no. was saying uh, out of character. No, she does. She does look really cute. Yeah, she's she's cool. Sure. This is not good. She's doing the uh, Ariana Grande like sweater paw thing. <laughs> she's already captured the heart of every man in this courtroom and multiple women. Ooh. <gasps> Tell us, where were you on the night of September fifth when the murder occurred? Ooh. Um. Gee, I was like in my hotel room. Teehee. I'm not gonna do the teehee. It, there's no way to inflect that well. I checked in right after lunch. And this hotel is directly across from the Fan Go Law offices? Mm, that's white, big boy. Please testify to the court about what you saw. <laughs> I want to know how big boy translates from Japanese. What? What was the word that was in Japanese that was translated to big, big boy? boy? I don't know. Big boy. Sometimes, like, just thinking about the localization gets me. I think it's universal. Big boy? Big boy, yeah. <laughs> big boy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It was, like, nine o'clock. White. Like, Come like, on. Get at, your voice right. At, at nine o'clock at night. I looked out the window, you know? And then, ooh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Then the woman, like, dragged me to one side and ran away. Like, this one is actually set up to be a valley girl. Like, the way that <laughs> she's written. But I've, I've committed to making Maya the valley girl. Yeah. Uh, Mayo, you mean. <laughs> but the girl, she caught up to her and she hit her. Oh, hit her multiple times. Interesting. Smack, 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 smack. Hmm. Then the woman with the long hair, she kind of swamped. <laughs> the end. That's all I saw. Every little bitsy with you. Wonk. Wonk. Wink, wonk. Remember Homestuck, everyone? Nope. Hmm. Well, Your Honor. I see. My boner is rather large today. <laughs> I have a remarkably solid boner. <laughs> I don't see a need to trouble the witness any. W wait, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Wright? What about my cross-examination? <laughs> I thought the way the statistics were just now was quite firm. I hate, I hate, I hate this game. <laughs> just like my penis. I, I hate this game. <laughs> Mr. Wright, I understand you were Miss Mia Faye's understudy. Were you not? You must know her techniques well. Her cowardly way of finding tiny faults in perfectly good testimonies. This is like not... Hey, how dare you? Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine... Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck you, we're going to cross-examine her. <laughs> yeah, I'll <laughs> gladly proceed with the cross-examination. If only because I have a feeling Edgeworth doesn't want me to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because he like explicitly said that. She has to have some weakness. Very well. You may begin your cross examination. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So. Uh, it's like nine at night. Let's okay. look at the death report real quick. Um. Yeah. Go to present. Hit tab. Um. Uh. Back from. Doesn't below. tell us what time. Uh. She's been. The clock oh, yeah. thing was taken out, right? Yeah. So that doesn't have the time on it. The broken what's, of a glass what's the photo? Thing. What's the photo we have? Uh, this is the murder scene. Oh, okay, okay. Well, none of this is helpful. So it's well, no, the murder scene might be because like she saw, she saw. Um, well, it's not helpful in this. Well, she prop. saw Mia slump, but Mia slumped behind the window. Ah, okay. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's go back. I looked out the window, and then, ooh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. And the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. But that girl, she caught up to her, and, and she hit her. Wait, that's it? What? What? Nothing really jumps out of the contradiction. Uh, there's got to be something in there somewhere. Maybe I'd better just press her on the facts a bit. Yeah, that's Wait, good. Wait, that wasn't the full... Okay, so go, go press her on the, the slumping. Well, that was... There, there was an included. Oh, we read this more. Um, the girl she caught her and she hit her. See, it, that's it. It's the end of the 
Yeah, press her on this because she slumped against like by the window. Yeah. Right? How do you know it was my client? Huh? Well, I... Gee, first of all, she had a gross physique. And secondly, she was too small. Who else, who else could it be but her? I mean, you. No, she doesn't have a girl's physique. She has a woman's exactly. physique. Exactly. Got him. Hmm, she has a point. No, what? Hold on a minute. That testimony stinks. <laughs> what? Miss May, I'm willing to bet that. Uh, you said nothing. You're lying. Oh, yeah, you're right. Are you telling me the truth? Did you really see the defendant? Oh my god, look at her face. Yeah, she's evil. She's a bad guy. Gavel. Mr. Wright, what's the meaning of this? I really don't want her to be a bad guy, though. <laughs> I like doing her voice too much. Mm. Yes, what is the meaning? Somebody tell me, because I'm clueless about this, I mean. Okay. If you had really witnessed my client, Maya Fey... Uh, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. You're right. That's true. Yeah, that is true. I don't... I, look at her, like, mouth twitching. That's horrifying, that's actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no one wears clothes like this on a daily basis, except her. I definitely was not going here, but good job, Phoenix. Yeah, I didn't, I wouldn't even think about that. And I'm no expert on fashion, but her hairdo looks far from normal to me. <laughs> wow. Fucking savage, yeah, Phoenix. Yeah, owned. However, the witness's testimony mentions neither of these things. Testimony is bogus. But, but... Still, we don't know if she was dressed that way the night of the murder. We do, we though. Do. We I were there. I saw her. Yeah. Gumshoe, Gumshoe saw her. Gumshoe saw her. She was, Your Honor. <laughs> like, multiple witnesses. I saw her, and so did Detective Gumshoe. Come on. What do you say to that, Miss May? Wow, I, no, what are you trying? No, rawr. No, I said it. I said no, what I was going to say. It's rawr. Rawr. <laughs> what are you trying to say, you mean warrior? I saw what I saw. I just didn't think all that trifling little details were necessary, darling. Miss May, the court would like to remind you to please omit nothing in your testimony. I wish I had, like... The vocal range to give her a more insidious voice. Because, like, she's really starting to show oh. my fucking god. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl. I promise. Oh my god. <laughs> this must have been a joy to localize. Your testimony again, if you would. Damn, I almost had her. New testimony. I love fucking r running through this. Yeah, we're cruising. Yeah, cruising for a bruising. Oh, do I have to say all this? Yeah, this is a new testimony. Oh, I did see everything. I did. See, it's not green text. Green text shows that it's like... We're, it's... The victim, the woman dodged the first attack and went off to the right. Oh, so this is where okay. we're going to okay. do the, the presenter. <laughs> then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. <laughs> and she hurt her with that weapon. I saw it. I did. Yeah, well, there's, like, no way that, like, she was able to just, like, chase her down and beat her to death with that, like, easily. Right? Mm. That, that clock, um, the kind of statue clock, the thinker, I think. Well, does the accuracy of my report not startle you? <laughs> no, I'm never gonna do that. It's integral to the character. I see. <laughs> I only wish you had been so detailed from the beginning. Please begin the cross examination. Bump, bump, bump. So you know what we're gonna have to do, right? No. We're gonna have to press her or like present to her on the um, the thing, the the clock. Because yeah, because it it's was... not a clock anymore. Well, no, because we specific because it was specifically put into evidence as a statue. How would did you... and she didn't see it uh, as a clock? Uh, 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 uh. How would there's no way she would have known from that way? Yeah, down. yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. I was saying. Uh, I did. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran out to the right. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her, and she hit her with that weapon. I saw it. I did that. That clock. There we go. The kind of statue clock. The thinker, I think. Um, 
looks like a statue is actually a clock. Yeah. Miss May, what you said just now was quite revealing. Ooh, just like Reviewing. your clothes. Revealing? Ooh, you would like that, wouldn't you, naughty Mr. Warrior? God. <laughs> you did not taking her shit at all. <laughs> you just said the statue of the thinker was a clock. But there's no way of knowing that just by looking at it. <laughs> Another person in much the same position as you recently called us a clock, too. And he was found guilty of murder. Ooh. Gavel. <laughs> Order! Order! <sighs> Miss May, can you explain how you know this was a clock? That's all I'm gonna do. I'm, never, I'm not gonna do more than one, <laughs> like, anime noise <laughs> per, per dialogue box. Okay, okay. The witness saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all that's important here. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with trivial concerns. Yes, yes, of course. You will withdraw your question, Mr. Wright. Fuck you, no I won't. Yeah, fuck off. But questions are all I have, Your <laughs> Honor. <laughs> Oof. And as you may recall, I've caught murderers with these questions before. I wasn't there for that. I'm a different <laughs> lawyer. You asshole. You think we all are the same lawyer? Obviously he's not a lawyer anymore. He's a judge. J judge, shit. I'm not pain. I'm not. No. Gavel. Gavel. Objection sustained. You may continue to question the witness. Someday you'll get to the gavel before I do. Oof, that was close. If he stopped me there, the trial would be over. Huh? What? So what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. How did you know it was a clock? What? That's... Because... I heard it? Yeah, I heard it say the time. No, the, it's... It doesn't work. So, you've been to the law office of Fay & Co. No, hey, hey, I didn't say that. Why would I go there? I heard it from my hotel room. It's not hee <laughs> hee. I think this would have been a perfect opportunity if we had like another person to like record the motions I'm doing while I voice her for mm -hmm. TikTok. It'd be really good, I think. But you can't see those, so get owned. Yeah, but get I do. Owned. I do like. I do pretty get owned libs. I do pretty much all the poses that she does to get into character. To be clear, I just dabbed too. That it was. It, it's the punchline of my jokes. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. I'm not acknowledging that. Um, just, just imagine every time I say anything ever, I'm dabbing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the law office is a fan go where the murder took place. It is very close to the hotel. First of all, it's not that hard. She could have easily heard the clock, except the clock is broken, you fucking hmm. idiot. Well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied? No. <laughs> no, Your Honor. I can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because... It couldn't have run. Yeah, it couldn't have run. Your Honor, members of the court, it is inconceivable that the clock in question rang. It's empty, right? Uh, yeah, it's empty. That clock is missing. It's clockwork. Gavel, gavel, gavel. gavel yeah, gavel. <laughs> How could you possibly? Just take a look right now. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> See anything interesting, Your Honor? It is as the defense says. This clock is missing. It's clockwork. It's quite empty. <sighs> My voice has changed gavel. again. <laughs> Mr. Wright. Would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It is as you can see. The clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big fat liar. <laughs> fat? I knew she was going to object to that. Well, Miss May? Tisk tisk. What? <laughs> Quite a show you've put on for us, Mr. Wright. He knew the clock was empty. Somehow, he knew. <laughs> I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty. As you say, it can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clockwork removed? If it was after the witness has heard the clock, then there is no contradiction. Uh -uh. 
Hmm. That's true. That is a possibility. The recording. What? The recording on the wiretap. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Well, not obviously. Not on the wiretap. We have her phone. We oh, you're right. Recording you're, on you're the right. Phone. right. You're right. The clock might have been emptied before she heard it. And that is exactly what happened, Your Honor. Edgeworth has been so wrong, like, wrong, like, so many times in this yeah. case. Well, Mr. Wright, can you prove when the clockwork was removed? Yeah, bitch. Ho oh, ho. Impossible, of course. I have proof. Got him. What? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The evidence that proved when the clockwork was removed is... A phone. Uh, yeah. This one. Take that. Take a look at this. Hmm. <laughs> That's a very uh, cute cell phone. It's like mine. <laughs> Ooh, you have a gooey phone. <laughs> wait, wait. This isn't my phone. Listen. This is the defendant's cell phone, and it contains a recording. A recording of a conversation case she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Gavel. Yeah. Order! Giving up. Order! <laughs> oh my god, look at his little... That's what I look like. Yeah. The defendant's cell phone. This wasn't brought to my attention. <laughs> Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it? <laughs> The good detective better remember what he's in by support evaluation soon. Damn. That's what's gonna get Gumtree fired. Good. I gotta say, I'm just gonna feel bad for the no, big fella. You're not. Let's hear the conversation. <laughs> um Do I have to read the green text again? No, okay. blah 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 blah. If you could Ah, I should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working. That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out, sorry. Yeah, that's yeah. what Beep. Your Honor, I think this makes it clear the clockwork was already gone by the time she, this, was, this was recorded, which was well before the witness even arrived at her hotel. <laughs> what? Well, Miss May, would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know that weapon was a clock? Well... Well, isn't it obvious? I saw the clock before. Um, what store was that in again? I go to so many. Oops, I forgot. Yeah, but it was made, custom made by my best friend. <laughs> the what? You can buy it on his Etsy. <laughs> <laughs> so the witness had seen it before. I would buy that on Etsy, though. Like, that would make sense. Does the defense have any objections? Yeah, I yeah, do. Duh. My throat is done. <laughs> My throat is objective. My witness claimed she had seen it before. It, it's 28 minutes. Should we finish? Are we getting to the end? We are. One? I just, I, I want to get to the end of this, like, cross-examination. Okay, okay, we'll finish. Because it seems, like, really, yeah. like... But this directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to this court. Well, then, let's see it. Please produce this evidence that will prove the witness has not seen the clock before. The um, clock. Made yeah. by Larry Buzz. It's simple. The clock was never in any store, ever. <laughs> what? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. And the one that isn't here is in police custody. Impossible. Everything is sold in stores. Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. Okay, that's a that's, solid own. That's the end of the episode. That, that's a solid own, for sure. All right, thank you all for watching. See you guys next episode. Well, yeah. Yeah, or not. Maybe. What if we just both tragically die? That would be really sad. Horrible if, house. If you died, I would continue on, but only one more episode. You don't have the you don't have the passport, Doctor Madras. YouTube. Oh fuck! You're right. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I figure. I figure. I posted it in TikTok you'd, clips. You posted <laughs> TikTok clips, of course. My my tragic eulogy via TikTok. I love yeah. it. All right, uh, can't wait for that.